understand that when you're developing the, the flax oil industry, it began being bottled in plastic bottles. And when you found out that this type of thing was happening, you did notify other people about this problem. Why is it that the other companies keep on using plastic bottles? Well, let me answer, go back yeah. behind that question. Actually, I, in, I developed that and recommended that plastic bottle mm. on the basis of research that was done for me that wasn't research. Mm. The person only asked the, the, the people who make the plastic and sell the plastic, is this okay for oil? And you can predict their answer. They sell plastic, <laughs> they said yes. Sure. But I didn't know that. I didn't find that out till several years later. And so uh, the, what I did then is I said, I, I did the research on plastic myself. And there's an, a lot more. The black pigment comes from old crankcase oil. So it's called furnace black, which is like soot. Oh, wow. And it has some polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. I measured the bottle. There were three parts per million of lead in the bottle. I think that mm. came from that oil from the days of leaded gasoline. Wow. Then there's eight parts per million of aluminum. That's the catalyst for making for the polymerization reactions to make the plastic. And then there is some stabilizers in there. One of them drifts into oil very quickly. That's been shown recently. And the other one is toxic to aquatic wildlife. Neither of them is OK for human food, for food use by the FDA. Now, FDA is not that popular in the circles I travel in. Mm. But, it, but I don't criticize them. The deal is like this. The FDA sets low standards. Okay, so knowing that if they say something is not okay for human consumption, you should believe them. Yes. If they say something is okay for human consumption, you might you should still maybe have some doubts about it because they've put so, lots of drugs on the market that had to be removed or withdrawn yes. because they caused so many problems. Now, if you were taking the essential oils which you use to heal your body from the pesticides yeah. and they were contained in these plastics, do you think you would have made the same recovery as you've made today? Well, uh, actually I didn't use the oils at that time because that was five years before oils started being made. I used a lot of sweating, I did some fasting, I started taking antioxidants, I started taking more supplements, minerals and vitamins. And uh, I started eating more green foods and less processed foods, although I was pretty good on that department even beforehand, which is probably part of the reason why I did well. Um, but the oil has made a big difference to my energy levels, and that was because simply I wasn't paying attention to the oils, and now I do. Mm -hmm. right. Now, would it have in plastic been as good? I can't tell you for sure. But I know that plastic, on principle, does not belong in the human body. It was never in nature. Life never made a program to deal with it. Maybe it deals with some of them okay, but you never know for sure. Because this is not natural, and life's program, our genetic program, was only made as an adaptation for us to live effectively in the natural system within we developed in which life created this whole thing. And I see your products now are all in glass. All in glass. And what was your research of glass? Well, glass doesn't swell when you put oil in it. Glass doesn't leach. Everything in the glass is frozen in the glass. It's been around for 2,500 years in food use. Plastics have, haven't been around less than 100 years. 2,500 years? Yeah. People, really? People have been using glass forever. Wow. And I noticed the tops are also not made of plastic either. Right. Yeah. And that prevents the leaching into the bottle? Well, they, if, if it's standing up, you know, there's, it's, there's not much leaching out of the lid. But we like, I, like, I like metal. I don't want to support plastic in every way possible. You know, as little plastic as possible. My view is the best news about plastic is in 50 years there won't be any because we will have run out of the fossil fuels <laughs> that are the source of them. So that's the good news on plastic mm. to me. Now, when I, when I changed my mind about plastic and went to glass, I told all the people who had put their oils in plastic because I had recommended it. And all of them opted to stay in plastic and it's simply because they didn't want to follow the standard. Why? Because glass is more expensive, it can break, it costs more to ship, so it's less easy to work with and it's more expensive. So they all opted to stay in, in plastic and so basically I left them behind.
You know, when you set standards, you leave behind everybody who doesn't want to live up to those standards. And what they least like about me is that I keep pushing the standards. And when they don't want to follow, they, you know, every time they see me, they're reminded of something they could be doing but aren't doing. And that doesn't feel good, so when they see me, they don't feel good. So they don't like me very much, sometimes. <laughs> right? Well, but the people who are getting the benefits like me a lot. And I think that's a fair trade-off. Well, that's a great trade-off. More, more than a fair trade-off.